we're looking at what the, the uh, feedback was for Klimt at the time when he unveiled this. In fact, it was fantastic. It was already purchased before he'd completed it, before he'd exhibited it, which is a great sign for an artist. The seven previous years, Klimt had been commissioned to work on a big commission for the university. These canvases were to cover the ceiling of this um, public building, and he worked obviously extremely hard in this big commission. And unfortunately, it was met with extreme disregard and it was criticising and actually it was never exhibited or never put in place. Um, it was sold onto the private buyers and actually a portion of it ended up in the hands of the SS and went to a castle in Germany, um, which was bombed um, in the Second World War. Um, and it suggested that, it, you know, it, it's no more, it's, it's gone for good. However, they never found any remnants of these pieces. So who knows, maybe they'll turn up one day. That would be nice. <laughs> Nevertheless, Klimt had, um, when he produced this work, had had the previous seven years work completely panned. And obviously it added to his reputation as an enfant terrible, a bit of a renegade. And of course, created this um, sensationalism, which... Um, you know, added to his success in the end. Um, this picture, though, really put him on the map of art history and it really put Vienna on the map of art history. Um, in the next video, we're going to see how this has influenced actually the modern era and modern artists. If you liked this video, follow our page, share with a friend and comment below. See you in the next video.